or anything because of the bees. And you never know when they're just going to attack and just the chance for taking. Woo! 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Get down there. <laughs> 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 Oh my. Well, new at 10, uh, some people in Urquhart say they are under constant attack by bees and they need help before someone gets seriously injured. WDS reporter Tammy Astwick is here now in studio with us with more on how this hive is getting out of control. Tammy? Yeah, that's right, guys. Some neighbors tell us that the bees in this neighborhood are misbehaving. Now, one person says a neighbor has already gotten stung. Others say they're simply afraid. This seemingly abandoned property at the corner of Urquhart and Lazardi has a different type of squatter. Just imagine it's more than just that one when they're, when they're trying to attack. They're pouring out from several windows and from what looks like light sockets, but the most troubling part is that they're making a beeline for anyone in their path. It's a problem Sandra Stevenson says she's been dealing with since she moved in last month. And some neighbors say the bees are driving them berserk. And you never know when they're just going to attack and just the chance for taking. Woo! Woo! The bees were so bad, we had to move to the other side of the street just to finish our interview. Bee expert Robert G. Taylor says he agrees with all the neighborhood buzz about this being a dangerous situation. It, it definitely looks like a uh, full-blown invasion. Taylor says the best thing you can do to avoid getting stung is to stay out of the bees' way. Like even beekeepers and standard beekeeping hives, commercial beekeepers, we all work our hives from the back of the hive. We keep out of their flight path. Stevenson says she hopes they can get some fast help so the nest doesn't continue to grow. Really dangerous and it's no, no one is doing anything about it. She says her grandson is coming all the way from Jackson, Mississippi this week to visit. She says the bees might keep them inside. Now, neighbors say this property is missing an address, so it's hard to figure out exactly who the owner is. They say they haven't seen him since Hurricane Katrina. Now, we did contact the city to see what the status of the property is and what neighbors can do next.